Hey, what's up, guys? Louis G here, chilling with Cesar Morales, aka El Dentista, in North Carolina, Fayetteville. We're here in Black Hive Studios, and we're here to review a product that everybody's been talking about. We're super excited about it, and I know everybody else is. If you go to the shows and conventions, you might see it. It's a dark lab product. It's amazing. You want to show them? Yes. I don't think they're ready. No. All right, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Check this out. Bring it, bring it. What? Don't move the tables here. I did it, man. You move it. my belly. You, your belly's, man, you got to stop drinking beer, dog. You got to stop. All right, all right, bring it, bring it, bring it. All right. right. Boom. The it's hover. the hover, guys. Mm -hmm. The hover. Check it out. It is here in our hands. It's yeah. our possession. And you know what? Not everybody's got it, but we got it here at the shop. It's yeah. sick. <laughs> Woo. What makes this product so amazing is that we talk about keeping a clean environment in the shop and being able to uh, work without spreading diseases or cross-contamination. And I mean, Dark Lab is taking this to the next level as yeah. far as being super futuristic because guys, you know, you know that Dark Lab is working on their whole wireless, like no no wires and just machines without wires, which is and also another futuristic thing. Now the actual power supply is gonna be touchless. That's right. It's Done. touchless, gesture controlled operation for maximum hygiene. So basically, you put this thing in, on your station and you can just hover your hand over it to increase the voltage or hover the same thing, put it going down and it will decrease the voltage on the machine. Hey guys, let's pull this thing out. Let's see what's going on. Just We're just gonna keep on going with this yeah, thing. Yeah. So let's do that. Yo, show the box. Yo, show the box. Yo, the the box. box is sick. The, the box, box is sick. Look at that spot you box. Need. They took their time. <laughs> that's one thing. I, that's thing. that's one thing I love about about Dark Labs FK Irons is, is the fact that awesome. they put a lot of work on their marketing and they make things look mm -hmm. dope. So mm -hmm. I, I got to give it to them on that. Look it's super dope. The yep. H. Love it. Hover. Yep. Okay, so let's move <laughs> this to the side and let's take this guy out. All right, check it out. Bring this thing out. It Boom. is literally the size sick. of a hockey puck. Check it is out. Is that nuts? Is that crazy? Check it out. And look at look at this. It weighs. How much you think this thing weighs? I don't know. It's gotta be like about a pound. Two not, pounds. Not, no way. Not even two pounds. So. I, don't, I don't know. I don't it's, have the right super light, dude. It, let's let's see if it. No, it's not. It cool. feels like a hockey puck, bro. Yeah, I swear to crazy. God, it's like crazy. probably the same weight as a hockey puck. Crazy, crazy. Sorry, we don't have we don't have anything to weigh it, but I could tell you it's about. In height, it's about an inch and a quarter in, in height, and then like, I mean, the width of my hand. I mean, I'm not a, a super huge guy, but the palm of my hand. And you think mm -hmm, this thing mm -hmm. is probably, you know, what about three inches? Yeah. You know, this thing, it's it's crazy, man. It's How do you mount this thing on your on your? Uh... Well, it's magnetic. It has a magnetic backing here, so you pretty much set it on your table, um, and it will stick. The know? good thing about it too is that uh, it, at the back of this. Here it has a rubber piece, so if you don't have a table like where you want to lay, lay it on or stick it onto the yeah, back, it, 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 it won't it actually grips. I don't yeah, know. We're on a wood table. Can you see this? Can you see the Great. table? Can you see the table? Yeah. All right, so yeah, you can see this thing is not moving. So this thing really grips. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. And then if you have like like a Caesar station right now, he has a metal station and he just sticks it right on there like that and it just it works out well. Yeah. So the um, it has two sensors. Um, basically, the sensor on the right will increase voltage, the sensor on the left will decrease voltage. And uh, to turn it on and off, all you have to do is just put your hand over it and pretty much block both sensors and it will turn either power on the machine or power off when you scan over it. It has different presets. So basically you can set up several machines, two, well two machines, and they have different presets between those two machines. And then as you can see, there's two connections here. One, um, typically when you see a power supply, a lot of times people think, well, you plug one into your foot switch and one into your machine. In this case, you can power, you can plug in two machines to this uh, to this setup. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. And yeah. You can still, and and the crazy thing is, you can still use a power um, a foot switch with this. Um, I, I tried it and, and it did work out. It was pretty. Pretty nifty. It was pretty good. Now, uh, another thing too that I saw here, uh, I see that on the side here of the uh, power supply, there are like some lights that kind of like uh, glow. Uh, as you're changing voltage, does that does the lights have anything to do with it? It does. It lets you know that you're doing some sort of gesture over the um, over the machine. It'll start glowing yeah. on one side, on the left, and on the right. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm still messing around with it, but yeah. I did do a, a tattoo with the piece, and and it it worked fantastic. Super dope. 
great freaking piece of technology, man, that, that you can't, I mean, we didn't even think about that. And being able to have a power supply where we can just wave your hand. That's talking, if you're talking about command, we got it right here, just whoop. See, Caesar likes to do it like this, but I like to do it like this. Because mm -hmm. it feels Which, like I'm showing it off, you yeah. know? It's <laughs> uh, awesome, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you can, you, can, you can lay your hand over it like this or like this. And like I said, it will power on and power off. This is future proof. So anything that is coming out in the near future, this is gonna work with it automatically. So it's gonna be able to, yeah. you know, connect with each other. Yeah, basically, I mean, the the, the product, um, it's something right now that, like, like like we said earlier, this is, they send us a prototype of, um, of the power supply. And um, I'm assuming that once they're ready and all they go through their R&D and all that stuff and whatever they're doing right now, then you're gonna get, when it's on the market, you're gonna get the, um, the full on ready to go version of this power supply. Another cool feature is that the machines that you're using, your, um, whether you're using your rotor, well, I'm, I'm assuming it's for rotaries, they have a, um, a power pack that's gonna be coming out that goes onto the machine and you're gonna be fully wireless. So that's crazy. How amazing is that we're actually coming into this time now where we're starting to see the future and technology and tattooing where it's coming together and you're starting to see that we're gonna actually be wireless. Mm -hmm. That we're gonna be able to put a power pack and be able to tattoo with all those annoying wires, which also makes it like, you know, talking about being sanitary, like having that wire hanging over somebody's body when you're tattooing them, doing a back piece. You know, I hate that when I'm, I'm tattooing, sometimes you get that wire in the way. Having that's gonna be awesome. And then hooking up with this uh, with this uh, power supply, I mean, it's basically, man, it's, it's freeing. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's freedom in tattooing, you know, something that, that we never get a chance to, we always like tie down to our stations, trying to like, you know, hey, yeah. This thing's in my way, man. My back is, you know, now That's right. we're going to be able to tattoo without being in a bad position because the wire's pulling in yeah. one way or the weight, you know, I mean, it's it's great that we're actually reaching this time. Talking, where... about, talking about the wire, um, of course, today I was using a wire connected to my um, Zion machine from FK Irons. Um, and <clears throat> I did a seven hour session today. I figured, okay, well, seven hours, maybe this thing might glitch or something being that it's a prototype whatever this is a prototype and i had no problems zero which is uh it goes it's a testament to uh to the what you know the fabrication and and what these guys go through or what these guys do when it comes to their products i love the product i love the design i think the design is awesome obviously like i said fk irons always does a great job when it comes to putting things together like this this thing is absolutely does not it does not look cheap by the way, it is designed in Miami, where we're originally from, yeah. and it is made here in the USA. So you're not giving any money to anybody else but our own people here in the USA. Right. So, I mean, this thing is sick, dude. I mean, I, I, I really, I'm really happy with the product, and I can't wait to have all the guys in the shop using it because I want my shop to be clean. I don't, I don't want guys touching, you know, all these guys, see the guys touching other power supplies and, and they don't even put a barrier film over it. Hey, you don't need to put a barrier film on this, well, you know? Yeah, that's true, but you can. You, you actually, can too, you though. You definitely can. You, yeah. you, the one thing you have to do is if you're gonna put a barrier film on top of this or any type of, um, let's say cellophane saran wrap, you need to set it on there and squeeze out the air from the sensors. So that way the sensors pretty much are free from any type of um, obstruction or any type of like, um, because you can probably get some sort of deflection. You don't want to block the vision. And, yeah. and, and it, might not, it might not work properly. So definitely yes. um, make sure you do that. There's two USB ports on here. So you can charge your, some other, I mean, well this is for the power pack, but you can charge, Literally, you can charge anything. You can charge your cell phone or, or whatever um, USB product. I mean, if you vape, no, I don't suggest vaping, but whatever. <laughs> you plug that shit in there and it's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, so we have touchless gesture control operation for maximum hygiene, Bluetooth enabled. So you can pair your mobile app to unlock more features and firmware updates, up to two machine inputs, uh, pedal capabilities, 
uh, switch air gesture to increase or decrease voltage navigation. That's what we were talking about, where you go over like that and it will, well, you go over this way and it'll de increase and then go this way and it'll decrease. Yeah, they recommend you use two fingers, right? I think it's like two fingers over one side mm -hmm. and then two fingers on the other side. So, if, yeah. you know, because if you probably use one finger, you probably can't see, but use two well, fingers. Well, if you got f fingers like me, you're good. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 that's true. So, okay, so then you have the wave on and off the air switch what they call the air switch um full rotary and coil readouts swipe up to reveal dual timer track sessions and machine run time simultaneously yeah so that's another thing too like oh yeah you're right two finger gesture yeah mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of these a lot of these uh, other power supplies um they they will record uh you know session time um and i was wondering if this if this thing had it you know this thing records session time so that's awesome too. So you can also keep track of it. Does it? Um, yeah. Hmm. Well guys, we are gonna wrap up because we're hungry. <laughs> it's time to eat. Woo boy. And we've been tattooing all day. Like I said, we're just, we're two tattooers. Back we do the same thing you guys do every day. We, uh, we grind every day. We eat. And, and uh, you know, we like, we like to review on these products, man. Uh, good job, Dark Labs, FK Irons. We're gonna make sure that uh, we try to keep this in a while. <laughs> Shop, no, Even though we're gonna return it to you guys because we want not a prototype. We want an official one. The real deal. There's 17 artists. In, I'm kidding. There's not 17 <laughs> artists in the shop. Just uh, about 13. <laughs> <laughs> 13. No, we all been doing. I'm Caesar Louie from Black High Inc. Catch you guys later, man. Yep. Stay classy. You know you suck at black and gray. Yeah. I can't work with this guy. <laughs>